and one person whispered it to another person. I'm very excited to be here. I've goosebumps earlier. I dressed up as a goose and told some other geese it was my birthday. I think I'm right in saying we should have a group here from the Camouflage Society. Well done. Also a bit of a strange day. Because I've had a hole in the back of my wardrobe. I went through to a strange and mystical land. And my neighbour was sitting in the bath. What else can I tell you about myself? I had my tea like I went in. Big black and with a penguin. Obviously I'm Caucasian. Yes, my mum's from the city of Ireland and my dad's Japanese. I was walking along the other day and someone threw some shampoo at me. And it turns out it was real poo. Yeah, get up. Oh no, sit down. I couldn't sleep last night, it was too hot. Then the spunk alarm went off. You can't hear me. <laughs> Incredible to think, isn't it? <laughs> My mum's a bit like the Beijing government. Yeah. <laughs> well, she is for this joke. <laughs> when you go round, you only see the nice China. <laughs> so it's not easy being on the road. Oh no, the AA, the RAC, green flag. <laughs> Don't get me started. You know, it was so cold the other week in the city of Chester, when I ordered a taxi, I ended up in Chichester. <laughs> the interesting thing, of course, about travelling around is you find out a little bit about the histories of the places you're visiting. I didn't realise, but years ago, in the city of Chester, all the men got together and they went to live in Manchester. <laughs> centuries ago, all the women got together and they're still getting ready. <laughs> Next month I'll be in Northern Ireland, County Down. Four, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Apparently, if a Welshman says this is my. I didn't know where I was going with that. <laughs> now I've got a bit of Welsh blood myself. And a kitchen knife. <laughs> Apparently, Welshman says this is my fantasy. He might just be talking about his fizzy drink. <laughs> I did a show in Liverpool the other day. Yeah. Well, came up to me afterwards and said, Hey, listen, I want to talk. I said, Well, just keep practicing. <laughs> My uncle, he was a very cruel man. He knew we lived in a bungalow, yet every year for Christmas we always got a slinky. <laughs> It's a miracle my sister's getting married. I went to the printers to get the invites done. She said, well, what, what typeface? I went... <laughs> she seems to like it. <laughs> my grandfather, apparently during the war, he broke the Enigma code machine. 
<laughs> My grandmother, she's been talking about downsizing, and now she's in a little urn. <laughs> I went back to my old school the other day. It was weird being back there with the smell of varnish, the echo of the science lab, 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 lab. <laughs> the memory of the fire engines. I was shown into the Phoenix Hall, uh, which wasn't there in my day. <laughs> you won't get that. In my day, the place was run by a bloke with no arms, no legs, and no body who was called the head. <laughs> if he wasn't available, there was this other bloke with no arms. No hmm? Turn it up. Let me speak even louder. Incredible to think, isn't it? <laughs> But the Chinese language! <laughs> Starting off with English in England! I'm sick. <laughs> I can't really speak much now, mate. If you see me afterwards, I'm not running fast enough. <laughs> Words are powerful things. Sometimes a single letter H can attract helicopters. Woo! Has to be a big one. Hours I've been watching that hot tap. <laughs> I was bullied at school. By pirates who are not helping. <laughs> I remember once at school my bike was smashed up. It was my own fault, really. I just handed out leaflets saying, Bullying, let's break the cycle. <laughs> I remember if it rained, we used to have to stay in a break for wet play. And if it was cold, we used to have to stay in a break and listen to this really dull band. Still, my education isn't over. I'm going to be learning Hebrew in due course. Yeah. <laughs> Any students here? Yeah. None at all? <laughs> what are you studying? You have to admire people who are going into the performing arts. They have to do exercises every single day for their future careers. Big issue. I've had a lot of jobs in my life. I was a bouncer for a while. And a space hopper showroom. After that, I was a weatherman. In fact, does anyone want to buy a broken barometer? <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> After that, I tried to sell fake paintings, but the police burst in and I made the mistake of shouting, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> Apparently, my great-great-grandfather, he tried to make money out of knitting, but of course, no one believed it was real money. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get a loan from the bank for my knitting business, but when I turned up actually wearing one of the balaclavas, <laughs> I tried to get some money out of Claims Direct the other day. I just phoned them up and I said, I've just seen your advert on television. Do you know it was so well written, acted, and produced that I fell over? <laughs> Hello? 
computerized banking. That's amazing, isn't it? I mean, these days they can clear a check in all four days. <laughs> Have you noticed that if you Google the phrase lost medieval servant boy, it says this page cannot be found. I said to my long-standing girlfriend, sit down, will you? <laughs> will you marry me? I spelt out in balloons outside of the house of the girl I'd only met on the internet when I saw her face. And I popped the question. <laughs> do you ever do that thing when you're on the phone? You put it down. <laughs> no, you put it down. No, you put it down. Oh, 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 oh. You put it down. Listen, it's an old dog and you're a qualified vet. <laughs> I met my wife on the net. We were both rubbish trapeze artists. <laughs> my wife's first words to me, what's your cat's name? I said, I don't know, he's never told me. <laughs> Although it might be... <laughs> Unless that's the noise he uses to make my stinger under helicopter surveillance. And me and my wife got together. She insisted we had separate bank accounts. Unfortunately, I thought she said Cypriot. <laughs> Terrible, isn't it, when someone doesn't want to live with you anymore? And part of you is thinking, I don't think you're going to survive in the real world. Another part of you is thinking, well, at least I'll be rid of your drunken arguing. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to let the Scottish people go. Any Scottish people there? You can go. <laughs> My wife's giving me the silent treatment at the moment, lying there day after day, beginning to smell a bit now. <laughs> Lads, you ever get given a job to do? So you deliberately do it really, really badly, so you never get asked to do that job again. I mean, I hardly know CPR anyway. Yeah. <laughs> when I was in Ireland, the audience threw shamrock to me. Turns out they were real rocks. <laughs> Again. <laughs> when I was in Ireland. <laughs> Chinese language. Chinese language. So you can hear me. <laughs> so it doesn't really work so well. What? Well, to annoy everyone else. <laughs> yeah. The great part of it is yeah. the Chinese language. It's kind of the same as you. You can't hear me. Well, I wonder why that is. <laughs> <laughs> I've certainly tried to pull out all the stops this evening. Apologies if you've got to get home by bus. <laughs> I'd better go, those self-cleaning ovens won't. <laughs> oh, uh, Lionel Richie says hello, by the way. <laughs> Not that I'm a good parent. Apparently it didn't even turn up to one of my own children's christenings, according to one of them, which will remain nameless. <laughs> um, 
We live in a crazy, mixed up wordle. <laughs> Calvin Klein's mum was labelled everyone else's pants. <laughs> Sometimes people say to me, this is all very well, you're wearing those shirts, you're saying these things, but who are you? And see, if I told you, it wouldn't actually be that interesting. And they say, no, we're the police. <laughs> so I show them my ID. And I say, as you can see, I am Dr. Irving Lykensen. And they say, no, this just says driving license. <laughs> I remember when I was a policeman, I was asked to seal off an area and I went, mm -mm. Strange things do happen though, once, once. Wait for it. <laughs> I'll tell you when I'm right. <laughs> Strange things do happen. <laughs> once, once. I saw a little green man. I walked towards him and he just disappeared and then I got run over. <laughs> Another time I saw a magic tree that was hovering in the air. Didn't matter how fast I drove towards it, it always stayed exactly the same distance away. <laughs> I ran out of petrol in the end. And I was so close, I could smell it. <laughs> we don't know much about Galileo. He was a poor boy from a poor family. <laughs> if you're addicted to meths, you're either an alcoholic or a South African with a real love of numbers. <laughs> As a child, I had a medical condition that meant I had to eat soil three times a day in order to survive. Lucky my older brother told me about it, really. <laughs> He later died of massive head injuries. But then you are more likely to get injured if you've got a massive head. <laughs> Recently I've written a book called All the Things I've Ever Done in My Entire Life. And I don't want to spoil it, but in the end, I write a book. <laughs> and I would like to see a world without plagiarism. You may say, I'm a dreamer. <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs>